Good morning on this beautiful Sunday morning here, April 18th. And I want to thank the many people who have been supporting my channel. And it's really cool that you guys are really into this just as much as I am. Um, for the many new people who have been watching, please like, subscribe, hit the button. My family has rich secrets that has been in my family for over a hundred years. So come and join me on this journey. So today's episode and today's video is all going to be about up potting fig trees. When to decide to up pot the fig tree. Very important question to ask yourself. Um, usually what I usually do to base my judgment on whether to up pot a tree is to determine the variety that you have and what type of vigor it develops. For example, this tree right here that was given to me is labeled as a Stella fig tree and this is a vigorous tree. Um, I have yet to get figs on it, but last year when I had gotten this tree, it was this big and now it is about four feet tall and developed a lot. And as you can see, when I take the fig tree out, the root system is root bound after one season. And it's pretty compact and hard. So I'm definitely gonna up pot this into the next size up. Which would be this. Okay, so that I have some room where I can rough up the roots a little bit. I'm not gonna cut the roots. I'm just gonna loosen them up. Usually I'll just go around and just kind of loosen up the roots a little bit. You know, I'm not gonna rip them all apart, but if I rip some, that's okay. That's okay. Get it all loosened up. up on the top parts because they like to feather out when you that's it I mean this is one season of growth so I don't need to go crazy I don't need to, to trim the roots not yet at least okay I'll get it all prepped up like that And I use a certain mixture that I used last year that was really productive for me. Um, I use a combination on my potted fig trees. I use a combination of organic potting mix and I use Costa Maine. This is the stuff I've been using. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, maybe put 60 to 70 percent of this and I'll fill it up okay which I'll keep it like an inch below the rim my potting soil is on the bottom and then I'm gonna make a mixture of potting soil that I just used on the bottom and some Costa Maine lobster compost okay so this tree is gonna be getting nutrients without fertilizer and through natural organic matter because again in past videos I explain that I don't like fertilizer, but this video is strictly on up potting. So once I get my height, now I'm gonna make my mixture. Okay, here we go. I got my mixture of lobster compost and potting soil, both Coast of Maine products. So now I'm gonna fill in the sides of this pot, okay, and get it level. And then I'm gonna do a little coat of just compost on the top.
I like to do my up potting in early spring rather than in the middle of the summer because in the summer it gets hot and pots need to be watered every day and sometimes you just got to get some root establishment. There we go, and I like to put the compost on the top part. Coat the top with the compost. Potting soil and compost I found very beneficial to these, these container figs and makes my fig trees very productive. So this is the way I've been doing it since last year. But the method is root, the roots and how I use do the roots and how I determine the figs have been in my family for a long time. Um, very important that you know you don't up pot a fig that doesn't need to be up potted. You know you don't need to disturb the root development on a tree um, when it's trying to fill out its roots. Um, but for this beast, it needed to be up potted. So now this tree is going to have a plenty of development this year because now it has room for the roots to expand rather than get root bound. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.